don't believe this. What's wrong? There was supposed to be a kite festival at the park. I wanted to see all the pretty kites and their long, fancy tails. But look out there. No one would fly a kite in this weather. Uh, I think you're forgetting about one pretty important guy who did. What? Who? Who? President Benjamin Franklin. The guy who invented electricity or lightning or something. Invented electricity? That doesn't sound right. Come on, it's a famous story. He tied a key to a kite and got struck by lightning, and that's when he invented electricity. Everybody knows that. I hate to uh, rain on your parade, but I'm afraid that's not exactly correct. Who are you? And why are you floating around in our living room? Oh, I hope you don't mind. I was just looking for shelter from all that lightning outside. Which, by the way, Benjamin Franklin did not invent. And uh, I'm afraid he was never president either. I knew that didn't sound right. But I thought he was famous for flying a kite with a key tied to it and got struck by lightning. I've seen the cartoons. You're half right. He did, in fact, conduct experiments involving electricity, but he didn't invent it. Electricity existed long before Ben Franklin. The term electric was coined from a Latin word for amber, the petrified orange tree resin. Oh, the stuff they cloned dinosaurs from. Cloning di- Oh, boy. <sighs> Maybe I should have found shelter in the garage. Franklin wasn't exactly struck by lightning. If he had been, well, this probably would be a much shorter video. So what happened? Well, Ben Franklin was indeed a very interesting man. There's a lot to know if you have time. Where are we going? Good point. Well, while Franklin was never president, although he might have been a good one, he was one of America's founding fathers. Ben held great influence over how this nation was formed. He even assisted in drafting the Declaration of Independence. Franklin was known for his wisdom and curiosity and for wearing many hats. Really? I usually just wear this one. Okay, what I mean is, he was a writer, a diplomat, a statesman, an inventor, a printer, a postmaster, even a scientist. That's a lot of jobs. Ben went to Europe and was fascinated with the study of electricity that was happening across the sea. In 1751, he published a book called Experiments and Observations on Electricity. In it, Ben coined words like battery and electrician. He also forwarded the theory that lightning, the magical bolts that shot down from the sky, were not supernatural as many believed back then, but actually electricity. He'd have to prove it. Couldn't he just point to a light bulb to make his point? I'm pretty sure light bulbs didn't exist in Ben Franklin's day. They sure didn't, not for another 130 years. But Ben's experiment helped lead the way. On a stormy day in June of 1752, Franklin fashioned a silk kite and a rather handsome one, I'd say, even with the metal rod been attached to its top, to a string made from a natural fiber called hemp. Then he tied a metal key to the hemp string and fastened a silk ribbon to the end of the string to be sure he wouldn't get hurt. As an extra precaution, Ben stood inside an open doorway to stay dry because, in case you didn't know, water and electricity not the good combo. My mom told me the same thing about forks and electric outlets in the wall. Your mom is absolutely correct. And also, what? <laughs> Actually, never mind. Where was I? And tied a silk ribbon to the hemp rope and the key and the kite. Oh, right. And the <laughs> As the storm clouds passed overhead, 
The metal rod fastened to the kite attracted electric charges from them, sending currents of electricity through the hemp rope. Ben watched as the hemp fiber stood up like the hair on your arms when you have chills. Electric clouds? That's right. Clouds are full of positive electrons at the top and negative electrons at the bottom. And the ground we walk on is also charged with positive electrons. So when the negative electrons in the clouds pass over the positive electrons in the ground, it creates a reaction, which we know as lightning. When Ben passed his free hand close to the key, sparks of static electricity passed between the metal and his fingertips. He didn't actually touch the key, of course, because, again, what do we say about touching metal that's touching electricity? It's a bad idea. Just making sure. Anyway, from this, Franklin was able to prove that storm clouds are electrified and lightning is a natural phenomenon, and that harnessing that electricity would later enrich human life around the world, something we still depend on now, 270 years later. So that's how it really happened. The key wasn't actually hit by lightning like the cartoons. Hmm. That's right. These days, so many things require electricity. Lights, listening to music, watching TV, cell phones. You can thank Ben Franklin and his electrifying experiment. And don't forget the brave kite that risked everything to help. Hey, it stopped raining. Maybe I can still go to the kite festival. Can I come too? Sure. How about you, Mr. Kite? Want to come with us? Oh, I'm afraid I might draw attention as the only talking kite at the festival. Yeah, about that. How is it you can talk? Oh, if I told you, you'd be shocked.